It's a hot late summer day. The fields are covered with haystacks and half-loaded carts. The peasant workers are hiding from the scorching sun. There is only one man working still, the strongest of them all. Miklos Toldi He puts down his pitchfork when he notices a platoon of soldiers approaching. He gazes at them with admiration. It has always been his greatest dream to be a soldier. His late father, Lorin Stoldi, served in the military and his brother Jörg still does. Moreover, his brother is a nobleman and a landowner who grew up in the royal court at the side of the prince and as his friend. Even though Miklos, like his brother, is of noble origins, he still works like a peasant and has no possessions. The approaching soldiers are under the command of Captain Lutskvi, Voivod of Transylvania. When they get closer to Miklos, Lutskvi calls out to him. Peasant, which road leads to Buda? Miklos is so upset by being called a peasant that he cannot utter a single word. Instead, he indicates the direction with a massive cart pole. The ease with which he handles the heavy pole stuns Captain Lotskvi and his soldiers. When Miklos gets home, he sees that the servants are busy preparing a huge feast. He learns that the reason for the upheaval is that his brother, the great Lord Jörg, is visiting home with his friends. Jörg does not like Miklos. Moreover, he is not very kind to their mother. He hardly greets her upon his arrival. When Jörg sees his brother, he starts criticizing him in the presence of their mother. In his opinion, Miklos is a good for nothing, an incompetent loser, who is not even good enough to be a peasant. Miklos is taken aback by his brother's comments. He tells Jörg that if he sees him in such a bad light, he can leave the family home. But for this to happen, Miklos would need his share of the family inheritance so that he can become independent. Jörg snaps back at him, saying that he has another idea of what Miklos needs. Then he gives Miklos a huge slap. Miklos gets really angry now, but before he takes it out on Jörg, their mother intervenes and saves Jörg from a painful beating. Miklos distances himself and sits down in the furthermost corner of the yard. As if nothing happened, Jörg continues to have fun with his men. He keeps drinking and then orders them to do target practice with wooden spears. He dares them to aim as close to Miklos as possible. One of them wounds Miklos with a spear, who loses his calm and throws a large millstone at them.
The stone hits the man who wounded him, who dies on the spot. Miklós immediately regrets what he has done, but it is too late. George, on the other hand, is happy about the development, since now he has a legal ground to exclude his brother from the inheritance. He immediately orders his men to capture his brother. Miklós has to flee. He manages to slip away. He hides in the reeds for the night. He knows that he is now wanted as a murderer and if he is caught, he will face the death penalty. After three days, Mence, the family's old servant, finds him. He brings him food and drink that was sent by Miklós's mother and tries to persuade him to return home. But Miklós wants to go his own way and asks Bence to tell his mother not to worry, because one day he will return. The next day, at dawn, Miklós is getting ready to leave for Buddha. But no matter how strong and brave he is, he cannot leave his village without saying goodbye to his mother. He decides to walk back home while it is still dark. On the way, he accidentally stumbles across a fox's den. The startled animals throw themselves at him, but they have no chance against the strong Miklós. He kills them and then continues his way home with the dead foxes thrown over his shoulders. When he gets home, it's still dark. The first thing he does is to make sure the guards cannot move once they wake up, so he pins them to the ground with their spears. Then he puts the two fox carcasses on Georgie's bed on each side of his sleeping brother. Then he carefully enters his mother's room, who immediately awakes. He tells her about his plan to go to Buddha and become a soldier. At this moment, the dogs catch the scent of the fox's bodies and begin to bark. Everyone wakes up. Miklós bids farewell to his mother and flees.